James Kelly is with me. James Kelly texted Torch to us. Just get out your phone right now and text in the letters Torch. James, why did you text to our Torch line? So here's the thing. I, I saw yesterday, I heard about the show, didn't see it live, but I went online to watch the show. And then on it said, you know, text to give through Torch. And I was like, okay, let's try this, see if it actually works. And then I tried it and it worked. <laughs> of course it would work. Of it course does. it worked. And it worked and worked great. And so I was able to donate. All right. Why love donate? what you guys are doing. Yeah, why? Why do you love what we're doing? James Kelly, first of all, let me just give some background. James, you left uh, a, a very technology-filled career because you felt it needed more of God's leadership in the technology world. And right now, James Kelly leads. You founded Faith Tech. And this organization is affecting Canada coast to coast and down into the States. Mm -hmm. I've already connected with great new people through your networking organization, Faith Tech. This is how we're helping build your, your missionary organization into technology is helping Crossroads. So I'm thrilled that you're mm -hmm. on the set. That's who James Kelly is. But tell why you believe now in supporting Crossroads. I just love this campaign, Passing the Torch. I think... Uh, when you really step back and think about it, there's an enormous amount that the older generation has to offer the younger generation. You know, I think of things like you have access to all wisdom, uh, all knowledge right now. On but a the good younger, day, maybe. Right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but the younger generation has that access to knowledge but lacks a lot of the wisdom. But then the younger generation, they're online, they're, they, they consume information in a different way now. Yeah. And so if we don't think creatively, innovatively on how we can bring the gospel to that next generation, we have the potential to lose the whole next generation if we don't think creatively. Last week, 100 Huntley Street had a fantastic uh, guest on, a doctor on mental health, a young um, doctor who said the reason we're seeing almost one in four on mental health medications mm. is because, and they're younger, is because they aren't able to process just life issues. Mm. So they get bound up because they're looking only on screen. Yeah. But process happens also when we're even in relationship, older generation mm -hmm. to a younger generation, yeah. and then also try to get in on a person-to-person -person visit. Mm -hmm. Isn't it needed? Big time. We have to. I, I think I, I look at... Uh, my, my question is always, what's God's posture towards technology? I firmly believe he has two hands, which is one of idolatry and one of opportunity. And by idolatry, I mean we can use our technology and our devices in such a way that it takes us away from God, which is why I always say we have to think about boundaries. What are the boundaries we have around technology? But on the flip side, there's an amazing opportunity that we have as well, because never in the history of the world could I create a video like we are now and actually have the potential to reach billions of people yeah, with we, that one video. And we don't have to pay for that airtime. We slice it out and we deliver it on our digital yeah. pipelines. It's amazing. You briefly just tell us what you guys are doing on uh, prostitution queries online in Vancouver. Man, yeah, I just mentioned this to you. We found out just in the fall in Vancouver, which is where we did a hackathon, which is like a retreat for geeks. A lot of fun. I've been to yours in yeah. Waterloo. They're <laughs> awesome. Yeah. We found out that in Vancouver, roughly 20,000 people a month search for how to meet up with a prostitute. So separating that from pornography, meeting up, majority are men, it's roughly about 3% of men in Vancouver every month. And we thought, well, what are the results? And when you search and you find out the results, they're devastating, they're heartbreaking. So we actually went out, bought the domain howtobuysex.com. So I currently own howtobuysex.com, howtokillyourself.org, and faithtech.com. So I don't know. Someone yeah, looked at all the domains I own. It's kind of strange. belongs, yes. And so the vision of this website is to say, how do we help the predominantly men, but both men and women, see the problem, see the, the harm that it can bring them, let them know that the majority of women are not there by choice and to say, this is something you don't need to do. And the way you build that site is you build it in such a way that it replaces all the garbage 
that comes before and it. Redirects that traffic. James Kelly, that is why Faith Tech is so important. Mm -hmm. That's why this ministry is supporting your ministry. And thank you for, you've been in here every day for the last three weeks, mm -hmm. helping coach us through to this new need to pass the torch through all these amazing digital pipelines. Mm -hmm. James Kelly, you'll see lots more of him. 1-800-265-3100. Will you be part of helping Crossroads pass the torch of faith through all the new technology? Here's Sheldon Neal.